wondering why I saw this club at all A non-existent transfer window And Neil's gone and all But when I ran the club it wasn't always great But Wagner's picture on my wall It reminds me that it's not so bad It's not so bad The fans have gone cold, I'm wondering why I saw this club at all A non-existent transfer window And Neil's gone and all But when I ran the club it wasn't always great But Wagner's picture on my wall It reminds me that it's not so bad It's not so bad Dear Kev, I'd like to welcome you to Uddersfield Town Famous for Rugby League, Harold Wilson and David Brown I hope you enjoy your trip here and it's not all for nothing I could show you around town, I can meet you at the post office or something We can hit down to Burtby, Marsh, Golker or Dalton But anyways, fuck it, what's been up man, how's your two daughters? My girlfriend's pregnant too, I'm about to be a father And if I'm a daughter, guess what I'm a caller? I'm a name of Nagel I hear you keeping on Neil and Ronnie too, I love it Any fans that don't like those two, just tweet them, tell them to shove it I know you probably hear this every day, but I'm your biggest fan. I even used to play a Sacramento Kings on NBA Jam. I've got a room full of all your posters and your pictures, man. I've even replaced my wedding photo with a picture of Uncle Sam. Anyways, I hope you get this, man. Hit me back. Just a chat. Truly yours, your biggest fan. And my name's Stan. The fans have gone cold, I'm wondering why. I saw this club at all. A non-existent transfer window. window. And Neil's gone and all. When I ran the club, it wasn't always great But Wagner's picture on my wall It reminds me that it's not so bad It's not so bad Dear Kev, you still ain't call or wrote. I hope you have a chance I ain't mad, I just feel a bit daft that you're tweeting other fans If you didn't want to talk to me outside of Marston's, you didn't have to But you could have signed an autograph for Matthew That's my POS pal, he's around 40 year old We waited in the blistering cold for you for 4 hours and you just said no That's pretty tight man, you're like his fucking hero He wants to be just like you man, he likes you more than Dino I ain't mad though, I just don't like being lied to Remember when we met in Lockwood, you said if I'd write you, you'd write back Cos we were queuing for Dixons I gave you a thumbs up and said it's a fucking dream Then me lad got pissed off cos we couldn't afford ice cream I know you've hardly signed anyone but we haven't been here long But we can't be losing out on players to Rotherham or West Brom I ain't really got out else so when town scrap I get depressed I even got a tattoo of your name across me chest <laughs> Sometimes I show people down slubbers just for adrenaline I tell ya it's such a sudden rush for me, I love it See, everything you say is real, I respect you because you tell it My girlfriend's jealous because I talk about you 24-7 But she don't know you like I know you, Kev, no one does She don't know what it was like for people like us growing up you got to call me, man, I'll be the biggest fan you'll ever lose Sincerely yours, Stan, P.S. We should go for a beer together too The fans have gone cold, I'm wondering why I sold this club at all a non-existent transfer window, window And Neil's gone and all But when I ran the club it wasn't always great But Wagner's picture on my wall It reminds me that it's not so bad It's not so bad Dear mister, I'm too good for Ronnie and Neil, what a farce This'll be the last package I ever send your ass. Neil's been here for seven months and now he's gone, he don't deserve it I don't care if Darren Moore's replacing him, Neil Warnock's perfect. So this is my cassette I'm sending you, I hope you hear it. I'm in the car right now on M62 on the freeway. Hey Kev, I've been drinking at Magic Rock, you dare me to drive? You know that song we all sing called Smile A While? About how town will play up and bring back the cup? Well now we won't, because you fucked us by getting rid of them. That's kinda how this is, you could have rescued us from drowning. Now it's too late, we're 20,000 downers now, it's lousy. And all I wanted was for Neil to stay, that's all. I hope you know I ripped all your pictures off the wall. I loved you, Kev. We could have had a drink together, think about it. You ruined it now, I hope you can't sleep and you dream about it. I hope you lose your phone and you can't tweet about it. I hope your conscience eats at you and you can't breathe without me. See, Kev? Shut up, love, I'm trying to talk. Hey, Kev, that's my girlfriend screaming in the trunk. But I'm not off to Merry England following you no more. See, I'm not like you, because if I wear flip-flops with jeans, I'll look daft too. Well, gotta go. I'm almost at Scamandon Bridge now. Oh, bollocks, I forgot. How am I supposed to send this shit out? The fans have gone cold, I'm wondering why. I 
to write you sooner, but I've just been busy. You said your girlfriend's pregnant now. How far along is she? Look, I'm really flattered you would call your daughter that. And here's an autograph from Matthew. You can put it with his purple king's cap. I'm sorry I didn't see you at Dixon's. I must have missed you. I've seen your tweets asking if I like the fish and chips, too. But what's this shit you said about me fucking up the club, too? I say that shit's just clowning, dog. Come on, how negative are you? You got some issues, Stan. Let's give Darren some support. Let's get the John Smiths bouncing while we play this fantastic sport. And what's this shit about us going for a drink together? That type of shit'll make me not want us to meet each other. I really think you and your girlfriend need each other. Or maybe you should just treat her better. I hope you get to read this letter. I just hope it reaches you in time before you hurt yourself. I think you'll be doing just fine if you relax a little. I'm sorry Neil and Ronnie had to go, but Stan, why are you so mad? Try to understand that I do want to please you fans. I just don't want you to do some crazy shit. I read this one thing in the Examiner a couple of weeks ago that made me sick. Some dude was drunk and drove his car over Scammonden Bridge, and he had his girlfriend in the trunk. She was pregnant with his kid, and in the car they found a tape, but they didn't say who it was to. Come to think about it, his name was... it was you. Damn.